In today's episode of Bujo Inspo, I'm going to share three different weekly layouts so that you can find the weekly spread that's perfect for your planner. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Shada Campbell and on this channel I create art tutorials on things like bullet journaling and watercolor, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Now in today's tutorial, I'm going to share three bullet journal weekly layouts that I really love. I like to switch mine up uh, pretty much every month. It keeps things fresh and creative and interesting. So uh, let's just get started. So all of our layouts today are two pages, go across two pages. And this first one is really nice because it allows you a lot of space at the top of the page to put all your notes and to-do lists and illustrations as well. So we start by drawing three boxes uh, or three rectangles on each page. I just do the weekend in one box. And then each rectangle, we're gonna put the date at the top and then we'll write the day of the week across the date. So use a nice marker uh, for that number and then your pen for the lettering. And I'm gonna go to the marker again to add a little bit of shadow to each of those rectangles. Right above the rectangles, we are going to put a little calendar. I love having a, a monthly calendar on my weekly layout pages. Again, a little bit of marker there and then the next thing I want to do now that the, all the sort of business is taken care of is to do some botanical illustration and if you know the channel and me then you know I love botanical illustration because it's just fun to do and things like leaves are so great for filling space in a bullet journal and you can see me doing that here just adding more branches and more leaves I'll add some details to those leaves to really make them pop and make the illustration sort of look a little more sophisticated and come to life and uh, I'm just filling in that whole little area there and with that done I'm gonna add a little gift tag here and I'll put the week on there so like March 18th to 24th I think this is and I'm just gonna adhere that gift tag with a clothespin or a paper clip and it acts as a bookmark um, for the week that you're on I'll continue the leaf illustrations over onto the next page and I'm going to make a little space here for notes. I always love to have an area for notes and to-do lists and I'm going to finish this up by simply adding a bit of white gel pen botanical illustration to the gift tag and then you've got some extra space there if you do a weekly tracker like me where you're maybe tracking your habits or if you like to add some collage elements you've got space for that as well so that is the first one all done I think the second layout is actually my favorite and I will share that with you I just want to take a second to tell you about today's sponsor these videos are possible in part because of sponsors but with that said I always try to show you guys products and services that I really love and that I think you'll appreciate. And today's sponsor is one that is super close to my heart and that I'm really excited about. Now, many of you may not know this, but in 2015, I did a thrift challenge. So I challenged myself to not purchase any new clothing for an entire year. And I only bought secondhand and traded with friends, that kind of thing. It really changed my perspective on how we acquire things. And when I started the YouTube channel that year, I think that had a big impact on me. And as many of you know, this channel is, yes, it's about arts and crafts, but it's also about beautiful living. And I really believe that you don't need a lot of money to have a beautiful life and having a home that reflects you and that makes you happy and joyful is not something that we can reserve for the rich. So with that said, today's sponsor is Buns. Now Buns is a community where people meet to trade things like houseplants, art, clothing, furniture, wine. Uh, it's like a clothing swap with your girlfriends, but you can trade anything. There's no money and it's citywide. Many of you may have heard of Buns, but if you haven't seen the app yet, then you're barely getting started because the app is really well designed and it makes trading super simple. If you're someone who cares about sustainability and you're eco-conscious, then Buns gives you the best of both worlds because you get to be part of this post-consumer culture, but you also get to have a dope wardrobe and a gorgeous home. And with Buns, you can strengthen your local community while helping the environment. And all those trades that you make are actually a really fun thing to track in your bullet journal. So download the app, post a few items, invite a few friends, and get some new stuff, new to you stuff. Click the link in the video description to download the free app. 
Okay, so layout number two is also across two pages and I start by simply marking out the days of the week, all sort of equidistant going down each page. And I'm just gonna write them in a simple cursive, put a line out from each one. I'm using my marker to add the actual date, the number date. And you can see here what I've done with this layout is left a large space in the middle. I've got a little calendar on the top, um, but it's all about that space down the center of the pages. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to illustrate some poppies and I'm just sort of marking out in pencil the stems and where the flowers will be. So very, very simple marking. And then I am going to go in with my uh, gray marker, my warm gray marker, and I am going to just do some sort of scribbly petals around the stamen of each flower. So what I marked in pencil was just circles and stems, basically, the circle marking the stamen or the center of the flower. And then you see me kind of scribbling or just doing these very, very loose, uh, sketchy lines where all the petals will eventually be. Um, so I'm going to add all of the color before I really even begin the illustration. Now once that's done, I'm going to grab my black pen. We're using very few supplies today, just a gray marker, black pen, maybe a little washi tape. So I'm gonna take that black pen and I am going to start illustrating these flowers. Now, the poppy has this large round stamen in the middle. I sort of scribble in the, uh, the color there. It's very dark, very black. And then it has these floppy, raggedy petals. So you can see me working with the marker that I already laid down to illustrate some petals. And I try to add a little foreshortening or a little depth by making the petal that's uh, at the bottom of the page or close to the viewer, by making that one a little shorter. Some of the flowers are open while others are closed and all of them include quite a bit of line shading and that's to show that sort of textured raggedy bit uh, of the poppy petal and anywhere petals overlap I'll add a little extra shading just and the shading is just lines just lines lots and lots of lines as I said I sort of scribble in the stamen and then finally what I'll do is I'll add just a little bit of white gel pen to um, do some further line shading uh, but this time the lines are sort of highlights uh, because they're white so I think that looks really pretty and you can see this illustration there's a lot of bang for your buck here it's a gray marker and a black pen and maybe Maybe some white gel pen added on top and it's a really great uh, design element. It looks so pretty in the middle and it really brings that spread to life. Finally, I'll add a bit of washi tape here in the top left corner. You could also add ripped paper and I will use my white gel pen to add the uh, week and date. And that is the second layout all done. As I said, I think that one might be my favorite, at least right now. Now for the third and final layout, we are going to need some washi tape. So pick a favorite tape and what you're going to do is cut a piece long enough that it will go across both pages and uh, then I am just going to trim that off using my little embroidery scissors and that gives me a nice border. And this layout is actually really great for anyone who doesn't like to add illustrations. This one's very, very simple. I'm going to add that calendar in the top again and then I'm going to take my gray marker and I will write May because this is going to be my layout for later in the year for May. And once I've got that written down, I'll take my pen and add a little bit of a shadow. So just on the right hand side of each portion of the letter really makes it pop. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom of the page here and add the days of the week. Everything really equal. This one we do separate. Uh, areas for Saturday and Sunday. Sometimes I combine the weekend, not on this layout. And I'm just using a bit of marker to create some division between the days. So no drawing, just adding a little bit of lines, a little bit of tape, and a little bit of hand lettering to make a simple and cute layout that um, gives you lots of space for notes and to-do lists and uh, is just simple and clean. You do have a little bit of extra space in this one as well to add whatever element you might need, whether it's a tracker or a to-do list. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed seeing my three favorite, I think I, these are my favorite layouts right now. Whatever your style, whether it's illustrative or minimal, I hope you found one that you feel you can use in your own bullet journal. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon with a new tutorial.